Bitcoin hit $1 trillion market cap this year. This has inspired some Bitcoin operations to expand, especially in the wake of the recent government crackdown of miners in China. Due to the shootdown in China, more and more large mining farms are being built, like here. Inside of the buildings, we have this shelving that's a thousand feet long, 20 feet tall, and there are just miner after miner after miner after miner. We show you in a short explanation the proof of work of Bitcoin. Proof of work requires a hefty number of calculations done by a computer aimed at solving cryptographic hash puzzles. First, let's see how miners create new blocks. Mining nodes collect and aggregate new transaction data. Upon receiving such data, each node independently verifies each and every transaction against a long list of criteria, including tracking the source of the digital money being spent, checking for double spending of the same money, checking if the total transaction volume is within the allowed range of 0 to 21 million Bitcoin, as 21 is the maximum total supply of Bitcoin allowed by the system. And the list goes on. The Bitcoin software installed on the node performs a number of other checks and balances. Verified transactions are aggregated into transaction pools, also called memory pools or mempools, where they wait until they are included into a block. As miners compete with each other to be the first one to come up with a new valid block, they need to make sure the transactions in their mempools have not already been included in previous blocks. After collecting and arranging verified transactions in a candidate block, the miner needs to construct the block header, which includes a few important components. A summary of all the transaction data in the candidate block. A link to the previous block in the chain, also known as a parent block. A timestamp showing the time of creation of the block. And a valid proof of work. According to the Oak Ridge Institute for Science and Education, $1 worth of Bitcoin takes 17 megajoules of energy to mine. That's more than double the amount of energy it took back in the day to mine $1 worth of copper, gold, and platinum. Now we know why Bitcoin consumes more and more energy. The more blocks that are created, the longer it takes to produce one Bitcoin. We have understood that Bitcoin mining is about trust, with proof of work, no one can tamper. And we also understood that Bitcoin is valued by the cost of the creation of energy. At Bitcoin's inception in 2009, each block reward was worth 50 BTC. In May 2020, the block reward was halved a third time to 6.25 BTC. And as of May 2021, there were already 18.7 million Bitcoins in existence or nearly 90% of the total plant supply. Minebase uses the existing crypto network with a smart contract. The smart contract is visible to everyone and thus ensures that nobody can manipulate anything. This means that Minebase has completely solved the problem of security. The difference between the Bitcoin mining process and the Minebase CTP system is that today we can use the entire crypto network to create the Minebase token. Minebase tracked all fees that are created in Etherscan, the 20 decentralized exchanges and the Bitcoin network. These existing fees are used to create the Minebase token. We call the process CTP, which means Creative Token Production. There are 250 million Minebase tokens in total. 45 million of these tokens were distributed to users through a bonus program. All other Minebase tokens are only created by fees, so no one has to invest anything. The starting CTP price of the token is $6.50, so there must be $6.50 in fees for the token to be created. All users who have their transactions with their wallet in Etherscan, the top 20 decentralized exchanges, or at the Bitcoin network can create the token with their fee they paid there. The great thing is, everyone can participate 
and no complicated hardware is needed. Before the app is available in November 2022, you can test the first program until November 15, 2022 on the Mindbase website. If the Mbase token is listed on an exchange, supply and demand will apply. However, just as with Bitcoin, the costs of creation are taken as a basis. No one earns on the transaction fees and the token cannot be bought when it's created. What nobody could imagine yesterday is true today. Thank you for watching the video. The Mindbase team wishes you much success.